เอาเอ้ยเฟรดเนาะว้าว Can I have some help? Yeah. Kind of anyway. That wasn't very much. There you go. Right. That'll do me for a moment. Oh. How awkward. Fucking gravity shite. What? What is going on? Oh. Fucking hell. If this is all you do, you're a bit easy. Oh, of course it isn't. Maybe. Oh. Fucking. Oh. oh my god, it's so awkward to navigate these things. These are the worst gimmicks. Bugger off. He's like the guy from the darkness. He's got tentacle arms. They're kind of cool. Oh, well, they're obviously going to come back alive, aren't they? Maybe. Okay, they do quite some damage. Oh! No. I hired from your laser bobs. Yep, they're back. Somewhere. Where the hell am I? It's like Super Mario Galaxy on drugs. I mean, on more drugs than usual. Almost kill. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Yes, that was close as well. Both final bosses killed with a tiny bit of health left. Oh, he's burning up in the atmosphere already. We were that close to the atmosphere, huh? I feel like that would have been a more fun boss if the gravity effects weren't so shit. Just, you should just be able to hold left and right to run around a thing, not have to keep pressing different directions. What? What an ending! Well, I mean, what more of an ending do you need than Strider standing on the final boss as it burns up in the atmosphere with a cool pose? Anyway, yeah, I mean, is he dead now? I guess so, he stopped moving. That was a good game. Very good game. Just extremely freaking frustrating at times. The graphics, 
you know. I mean, it's a it's a platformer. It's but it's good. It, you know, it's got nice variety in areas. Um, and even close up, the characters look fine. So yeah, I don't know. Graphics are good. Probably give it a an eight. I guess some of the effects could maybe be better, and like the, the face animations aren't there. But I guess that's probably part of the point. I don't know. I guess an eight. I mean, an eight is good. <clears throat> um, audio, voice acting is good. Music's freaking awesome. It's satisfying, like slicing everything up, swinging your sword around. Very nice sounding game. I'll give that a 9, I think, because the music's really good. Especially. And there's nothing wrong with the voice acting either. Gameplay. I think I'll give that a 7. It it would have gotten higher, but the, uh, the gravity stuff, just it feels really awkward. Like, like I was saying, you, you don't just hold left or right to run around a spherical thing or whatever. You, you have to like, you have to press up when you're running up the side of it and stuff, and that just, it, yeah, it's just awkward. And the main thing, all the enemies start knocking you down. It's really frustrating. I mean, you could probably say, oh, get good, just play better, and you won't have to get hit by everything, but there's so much going on, it's kind of difficult to do that. Um, but yeah, still, very fun game. I do love me Metroidvanias. Plenty of stuff to find. Lots of replay value, I think. Oh yeah, there's, there's those uh, extra things as well, the challenges, beacon runs and survivals. Might check those out quickly, maybe one of each. But yeah, I'll give that a seven. But you know, other than those two things, and those two things do do quite a lot of damage to my enjoyment of it, unfortunately. But um, other than those two things, it's a really fun game. Uh, there's nothing quite like the feeling of having a new power and thinking, oh, what was behind that door that I found ages ago? Let's go have a look. And there's plenty of upgrades as well. Not all just health ups and energy ups and all that. All those nice little upgrades to your, your kunai and stuff. It's not all just stat upgrades. But yeah, anyway, um, the story, I mean... Not really much of a story, but you don't need much of a story, do you? It's supposed to be an arcadey fun game. And lifespan, yeah, decent length game. I mean, obviously it's not particularly long, but there's so much exploring to do, so many hidden things to find. I only found like half of the costumes, I don't even know where the others could be. Because I explored areas quite thoroughly, but as we saw, some of them are quite hidden. Like two random bits of breakable floor on the floor that weren't marked, so you probably won't notice them. And that led to getting a costume. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, lots to find, lots to unlock. And little extra challenges and stuff as well, which we're going to have a look at. But anyway, overall... I want to give this game an 8, but I think I'm going to give it a 7. It was probably going to get an 8, or maybe even a 9, before the uh, all the knockdown and the gravity stuff. I mean, the gravity stuff wasn't a huge deal, it was just a bit awkward, <clears throat> hard to deal with and get my head around, and led to unnecessary damage because of it. But all the knockdown, ugh, frustrating as shit. I guess it could also use a bit more enemy variety, but you know, there was, it was fine. Guys with different guns, floaty turret guys, the little crabs occasionally, whatever they were called. Good fun bosses, even if a lot of them were kind of slightly re-skinny. But yeah, still. Good stuff.
It's a very high end of a 7. And, yeah. Long credits. Well, maybe not long, but... I don't know yet, they're not over. They could be maybe 10% done. No. And uh, since since my review is over now, oh, I guess it's time to make fun of names. Um, I can't really, because all the names I s currently see are fine, I guess. Dean Taraboy. I can't think of anything to say about that. Powered by Wawais. Hey look, America. Thanks, America. What, Alt Japan? Or the Flump? Matt Alt was Alt Japan named after him. If so, why not Hiroko Yoda? Oh Yoda! Since they're both localization producers, why only Ma why only Matt Alt gets his name in the name? Dolby and the double D symbol. Oh boobs! A trademarks of Dolby Laboratories, where they make mystical potions of chum. Oh. Anyway, I guess I'll like make sure that ends apart there, and then oh, mission accomplished. Yeah, I know. Don't tell me we waited the whole credits for that. How? All statistics will be saved. You need to, you'll be unable to resume your progress, and we'll need to begin a new game. I mean, like ah, oh. it was kind of almost under five hours ish. Not really. Anyway, yeah. Let me just... What? So what happens if I start a new game? Oh! Hard, Paul! Oh yeah, I like it hard. No! No, so much for progress remaining. You silly tit. Anyway, yeah. End of a part. See you in the next one or two.